Hello everyone and welcome to this Referral Candy demo webinar. Today we're going to learn how Referral Candy works and how you can create and launch a referral program on your online store using Referral Candy. For those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Raul and I'm the partnerships lead here at Referral Candy. Uh, and by the way, if you are an agency or a freelancer working with e-commerce stores, uh, you should definitely check out our partner program. Go to referralcandy.com slash partners and you can learn more about our different options there. Okay, so this is what we'll be learning today during this session. First of all, we're going to learn what a referral program is. For those of you who are not familiar with the concept, uh, we're going to dive into how Referral Candy works and how you can build your referral program step by step from scratch, basically. Uh, once we've done that, we'll review Referral Candy's pricing as well as what our uh, integrations are. Uh, and if you have any questions uh, or there's anything that I haven't mentioned here in the webinar, you can email me at the email address that I've mentioned there, and I'll be more than happy to take your questions after the session is over. Okay, so what is a referral program? A referral program is a system dedicated to encourage your existing customers to refer their friends to buy products from your store, turning them into new customers. If we had to summarize it into four steps, it will look like this. Uh, first of all, Referral Candy gives each customer a unique referral link they can share with their friends and family. These friends click on the link, uh, they get a coupon code and are redirected to your store so they can make a purchase. And lastly, the customer who made the referral gets a reward for referring their friends. That's pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Now, how can you set up something like this on Referral Candy? Uh, well, we can divide this into three simple steps. First, you need to choose your rewards. What do you want to give your customers to encourage them to refer? And what do you want to give to their friends and family so they're incentivized to buy for the first time? You can choose between coupon codes, cash, or a custom gift. Second, you need to set up the theme for your referral programs, emails, and pages. You, you actually don't need a developer or a designer for this. And all you need to do is upload a logo and a banner and we'll pretty much take care of the rest. We'll actually see this in more detail later. And lastly, you need to promote your referral program. Promotion is key. It's absolutely crucial. We provide you with a suite of automated email templates and widgets that you can use to let your customers know about the referral program and how they can benefit from it. Okay, so now we're going to share, um, actually, I'm gonna share my screen and show you guys how you can create a referral program from scratch. Okay, so the first thing you'll see once you enter your referral candy dashboard is the stats and overview section. This area will give you all the information that you need to understand the performance of your referral program. The most important piece of information here is revenue. Uh, in this section, you'll be able to see how much money your referral program has generated in the last 30 days, uh, including how many orders and the percentage of revenue that's coming from referrals. That's what we call the referral rate. You'll also be able to see a daily breakdown of your referral revenue here on the right. Besides this, you'll be able to see how many advocates have joined your referral program, um, how many social media shares have taken place, how many emails have been sent, uh, and their open rates, and how much referred traffic has your store received from your advocates. Uh, at the bottom of the page, you'll also be able to see who are your top referrers, meaning who are the customers that have referred the most friends to your store. This is an interesting tool because uh, it allows you to identify potential influencers that you didn't know were part of your customer base. If they refer you know, three, four, five times more people than anybody else, uh, you can look into who they are and use it as an opportunity to reach out to them and, and engage uh, even further. Now we're going to start creating a referral program from scratch. So the first step is to go to the rewards section uh, so we can decide how we're going to incentivize our customers and their friends. In, in every referral program, there's two main groups of participants. Uh, we have advocates and their friends. So we're, we're going to start off by deciding how are we going to incentivize advocates to refer their friends. For advocates, we have three different options. We have coupon rewards, cash rewards, and custom rewards. Coupon rewards allow you to incentivize customers to refer their friends by giving them the ability to earn a discount they can use on their next purchase. If you're using Shopify or BigCommerce, coupon codes will be automatically generated in your store with the parameters that you set here. 
For the coupon reward, uh, you can choose between a fixed dollar amount or a percentage of. Then you can set a minimum order amount and an expiration date for your coupon. And if you're on Shopify, you can also decide whether you want it to apply to all Shopify products or just certain collections like new arrivals or bestsellers. Now, if you don't want to give a coupon code as a referral reward, you can select our cash reward option. Cash rewards allow you to uh, allow your customers basically to get paid through PayPal for every referral they generate. And, and all you have to do is to select the cash reward amount, whether it's a fixed dollar amount or a percentage of the friend's purchase amount. And what happens is at the end of every billing cycle, Referral Candy will charge you for the total amount of cash rewards. And once we collect that, we send the rewards to each, each individual advocate through PayPal automatically. So there's no workload involved, involved on, your, on your end. If you'd like to offer something different from cash or coupon rewards, you can select our custom rewards option. This will allow you to give pretty much anything you want, like a free product or a gift card. And the only difference is that with the custom rewards, um, between custom rewards and the other two, is that the fulfillment of these rewards will need to happen on your end. So we provide you with three different ways to get notified about these rewards, including uh, our referral report, our API, and a webhook, so you can automate it on your end. You can find more information uh, on this on our help section. We now need to decide how we're going to incentivize our customers' friends to buy from your store. Here, we need to decide whether we want to give them a coupon reward or not. I personally recommend to select a coupon because you know, it's always a great way to increase conversions. It always helps to increase these uh, conversions. Here, the process is very, very similar to what we did before. We just need to select the coupon dollar amount or a percentage select the minimum purchase amount, the expiration date, and whether we want it to apply to all Shopify products or just certain collections. Uh, we're now going to see some additional settings that you can add to your rewards. First, you'll need to select the currency for these rewards, which is typically the same as your store's main currency. Um, the minimum spending amount in order to qualify a friend referral purchase as successful. Um, we also have the what we call the purchase review period, which allows you to put referrals on hold for a certain amount of days. Uh, and this is in case you would like to prevent cancel or refunded referral orders from getting rewarded. This feature is optional uh, and you can put all referrals on hold for as little as six hours and all the way to 100 days. Uh, during this period, you can cancel any referral that you would like to exclude from, from the program. And after this period ends, the purchase will be automatically approved and the rewards will be processed. And lastly, you can also make it more difficult for advocates to earn a reward by increasing the number of friends they need to refer in order to receive the reward. And you can also reward advocates for their friends' uh, additional purchases instead of just the first one. Every referral program comes with a set of email and page templates that will help you run and promote it within your customer base. We're going to select the simple theme option so we can start editing it. The easiest way to edit these templates is to upload a logo and a banner picture. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload two images that I had previously prepared for both of this. That was the logo. Now I'm going to upload the banner. There we go. Now the next step is to select our primary color, which in this case, I'm just gonna keep this gray color and select our primary font. And now we have applied these changes to all the pieces of content that come with your referral program. What you see on the right, for example, is the post purchase email, which is the email that customers will get after they make a purchase on your site and we'll invite them to join the referral program. You can modify the text directly, both the subject line, the, the body text, and you can send yourself a test email so you can see what it looks like. Our template editor also provides expanded options for customizing the layout and design of campaign pages. All you need to do is activate the developer mode and then click on edit HTML and CSS. This will open all the different files containing the code for each email and page template. For this, we use Liquid, an open source template language created by Shopify. 
Once you've made all the changes you need, you'll be able to see all the different assets that customers and their friends will interact with, such as the post-purchase email, um, the join page here, the reminder email, which is something that will get sent to your customers periodically to remind them about, about the referral program. and the share page, which is a page that advocates can access to and they can see their referral link and copy it and start sharing it with their friends. If you click on view all content, you can see additional pieces of content that's related to your referral program, such as the reward pending email, which is an email that gets sent to customers once their friends have completed the purchase, but it hasn't been verified yet. The reward success email, which congratulates advocates for their referral and gives them their reward, in this case, a coupon code, and other pages, including the friend landing page, the login page, uh, notification preferences, etc. We're now going to head over to the social media messages section. Here, you'll be able to customize the way referral links are seen when your customers share them on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, or WhatsApp. You can customize the title and text, and most importantly, the brand image to make sure it has a visual impact when your customers share it. To add your brand image, just paste the URL in the field and click on Save Changes. As I mentioned before, promotion is key for the success of your referral program. That's why every referral candy account comes with a set of widgets you can install in your store to make sure that your customers are being informed about your referral program. The most popular one uh, is the post purchase pop-up, which appears after a customer has completed a purchase and automatically invites them to join the referral program and obviously get their unique referral link. The cookie consent widget adds a banner to the friend offer landing page. So when referred customers open one of your advocates unique referral links, they will be asked to consent with referral tracking cookies. You can also embed the sign up page we saw in the template section. And it's basically a social sharing panel that allows your customers to directly send the referral link to their friends via email, Twitter, or Facebook without having to log out of their user accounts on your store. To add this to your store, all you need to do is copy the code and paste it on your store's page just before the body tag. And same with the referral widget, uh, which can be embedded on your front page or any page that you choose that shows a pop-up widget in the corner of the page. Uh, this allows individuals to click through the Referral Candy Portal Access page where they can sign up for your referral program, enrolling them as advocates. Next, we're going to go over some of the email settings. Referral Candy allows you to send your referral emails, the one we just saw in the theme section, using your own email domain. All you need to do is enter the new sender address and click on Verify Email. Until then, emails will be sent from the default referral candy address until the transfer process is completed. You can also determine what type of emails your customers get and when. In the email notifications tab, you can select whether you want to send it to all customers or only customers who have opted in for emails, and whether you want to send them immediately after the purchase or maybe adjust it to your standard delivery times, and that way you can make sure that your customer gets the email after they receive the product. You can also set the cadence for the reminder emails and choose whether you want your customers to receive one every week or every few weeks and when do you want them to stop. All right, we're now ready to activate our referral program and test it out. In this case, I'm going to sign up as an advocate by going to my join page. I'm going to enter my email address here and my name and I'll get this referral link which I have already shared with my friend. Okay, we can see that my friend has opened the referral link on their phone and has seen the offer as well as the coupon code, which they'll be using at the checkout. Next step is for them to select the products they want to buy and add them to the cart. Since we're using Shopify, in this case, the coupon code has automatically been added to their checkout, as we can see here. After that, all they need to do is complete the purchase and I will receive a reward for my referral. Okay, next we're going to understand how referral candy's pricing works. Um, if you go to referralcandy.com slash pricing, you'll be able to see our different pricing options. 
First, you can switch between monthly and annual pricing, which will affect the monthly fees. So either $49 or $39 a month for the premium and $299 or $239 for the plus. Let's start off by explaining the premium plan. Even with our smallest plan, you'll get everything you need to successfully run a referral program. You'll get unlimited customers and advocates joining your program, a dashboard like the one that we just saw, live chat support, and our advanced fraud management features. This plan comes at either $39 or $49 a month, depending on annual or, or monthly, and a commission on monthly referral sales of up to 5%. Let's see how this breakdown actually works. So if, if you scroll down the page, you'll be able to see our ROI calculator and how much you pay to referral candy based on your referral sales. Our commission structure is the following. So we charge 5% on the first $1,000 in monthly referral sales. Then we reduce it to 3.5% on the next $10,000. For the next $100,000, it's 1.5%. And everything on top of that, we charge it at 0.25%. Now, let's, let's assume that you're making $4,000 a month in referral sales. And again, this, these are sales that are coming only from your referral program. This is just referral revenue. You'll pay 5% on the first $1,000, which is $50, and 3.5% on the remaining $3,000, which is $105. So a total of sorry, $155 in commissions. So if we add this, you'll pay $49, or 39, depending on annual or, or uh, monthly, for the base fee, plus the $155 in commissions. So roughly $200, it's what you pay to referral candy to acquire $4,000 in revenue. Now, let's assume that you're making a little bit more, $16,000 in monthly referral sales. Here's the breakdown um, of what you pay to referral candy, which would be a little bit over $500 to acquire these $16,000 in additional revenue. Once again, here's the breakdown. So on the first $1,000, we'll charge 5%, which is $50. On the next $10,000, we'll charge 3.5%, which is $350. And on the remaining $5,000, we'll charge 1.5%, which is $75. Okay, now if you are in the plus plan, you don't have to worry about our different commission tiers because we only charge a flat 1.5 commission fee. With this plan, um, you'll get everything that's already included in the premium plan, plus additional support, a dedicated account manager, and a quarterly review of your referral program with suggestions on how to improve it. Now, if you are a bigger company, you can contact us about our enterprise plan, which in case you need a limited campaigns, custom integrations and analytics, um, it's probably the best option. And you'll also get to have your referral program reviewed by um, a consultant. And lastly, um, we're going to see what referral candy has to offer in terms of integrations. So we're, we're available for pretty much any e-commerce platform um, out there. From, from Shopify and Shopify Plus to WooCommerce, Magento or BigCommerce and all the way to website builders like Squarespace and even e-learning platforms like LearnWorlds. But if you're not on any of these platforms and even if you have your own custom store set up, you can still integrate with us. Um, feel free to email me after the webinar for more information about uh, all of our integration options and I'll be happy to send that over to you. We also integrate with other marketing and subscription services such as Klaviyo or MailChimp for email marketing, Recharge for subscriptions, and AdRoll for retargeting. Uh, you can actually check out our YouTube channel um, for videos on each individual um, app, or you can check our support center for more information on how to leverage any of these tools for your referral program. And that's it for our session today. Hope that this was useful to you. And I look forward to seeing your referral program go live. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll be personally taking your questions. Um, and if you're an agency or a freelancer working with e-commerce stores, do not forget to check out our partner section. Thanks again for being with me today and I'll see you next time.